Hello once again friends. In this video, we will be taking an in-depth approach to the steps in the first three rounds, Supply, Display, and Shopping. Supply is the first stage in each round. First, if no monster card is showing, the top card is flipped over, revealing a monster. In our example, the level 1 monster, Garbage Troll, is revealed. Monsters have a variety of effects. Garbage Troll has Awful Stench, which has the effect of reducing the price of all item cards by 5 coins to a minimum of 5 coins. In the shopping stage, the heavy shield would be reduced by 5 coins to a price of 5, while the heavy boots would not be reduced at price at all. Monsters also have a toughness and strength value, which will be looked at closer in the adventuring phase. The lower right hand chest represents how much each hero earns if the monster is defeated, while the lower left hand coin symbol shows how much each hero earns if the monster is undefeated. During this phase, players will each also draw 4 item cards into their hands. Of the four items, each player will draft one card and place it on top of their shop board. Player 1 takes the heavy shield and places it on his shop board. Player 2 takes full plate and places it on his shop board. The three remaining cards are given to their neighbor, in this case they trade. The players continue the draft until each player has four cards, switching hands each time a card is taken. Now begins step 2, the display stage. In the display age, players will choose one of their items and place them in their display area so as to attract heroes. This flintlock pistol has an appeal value of 4, while the heavy mace has an appeal value of 1. Whoever's item has the highest appeal value earns the right to choose their hero first. Player 1 will choose the cursed elixir with 1 appeal value. Player 2 wants to choose his hero first, so he will choose to place the full plate in his display, which has a value 3 appeal. Once players have chosen their display items, they are flipped simultaneously. The third stage is shopping. First, heroes will come to check out the wares of the shop. The shop with the most appealing items in its display will choose from the existing heroes first. While choosing a hero, the hero must have one matching icon as the item in your display. This full plate has the cleric and the fighter icons. The nobleman has no icons but has the effect that allows him to equip any item regardless of type, so he does not need to match icons. Player 2 will have the nobleman come visit his shop. The heroes are placed near the shop board, and the shop is considered occupied, and no other hero may enter. Since player 1 has an appeal of 1, he goes second. The remaining hero, the fighter, has the fighting icon, and so does the display item. Player 1 takes the fighter to the side of his shop board. Whichever player takes their hero last also receives the quest token. Once the heroes are within the shop walls, you are able to sell the heroes whatever items they are able to buy, as long as they have the same matching icon. Player 1 is able to sell the steel sword, the short bow, and the heavy shield to the fighter since the awful stench reduces each item's price by 5 coins. The hero spends the money, all 20 coins in this case, and the money is placed in Player 1's inventory. The hero equips each item bought by placing the visible effects underneath the hero card. The fighter now has additional melee and defense values added. The nobleman is also able to buy every item since icon doesn't matter and he has 40 coins to spend. The nobleman will spend 15 coins in total due to the reduced pricing of the goods. The 15 coins are placed in the player 2 inventory and the nobleman also equips his newly purchased items. The heroes will now represent your shop in the upcoming adventure phase. At the end of the shopping phase all items in the displays are placed back into the player's hands. And that is it for the first three stages. In the next video, we will run through the final three stages as well as scoring.